Hello fellow developers, welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create this awesome clock animation in React Native and I'll be showing you a technique which I'll, I call interconnected animations. And without further ado, let's get started guys. Wait, just wait a minute. I've included for you a time-lapse video that is going to take two minutes only to show you exactly what we are going to build and yeah I think that okay now we are good to go so let's play the intro Okay, so here I'm creating the UI and creating the small, medium and big quadrants and also the hours, minutes and seconds line. I'm applying some different styles, moving the width from dimensions. I'm styling the quadrants, applying different background colors and we are rotating the lines for hours, minutes and seconds here, installing the JS to get the current timestamp and also creating the animations uh, that will be interconnected with each other, get the seconds until the end of the day and increase the timer once every second and animate the index based on the tick so now because we have the index animated we can interpolate it from 0 to 360, uh, 360 degrees and apply these uh, different animations for seconds minutes and hours and offset the initial index to be 30 seconds before the actual tick so we can start with a small animation between lines and now apply the stagger animation for all the elements visible on the screen starting from small medium and big quadrant and then uh, seconds minutes and hours all right guys so i'm here in vs code and the first thing i would like to do the ui uh, and for the ui we will do the quadrants and then the lines uh, and i'll start with the uh, with the lines here i'll do a view and then a sit view and for the main container i'll apply uh, styles of mover and inside here i'll do styles uh, and hours i'll copy and paste it and do minutes and seconds and on top here I'll have uh, four different views so the quadrant styles the big quadrant medium quadrant a small quadrant and let me create the styles here so we'll have the mover hours minutes seconds big quadrant medium quadrant small quadrant let's start with the hours and for the hours i'll need a background color of rgba 0, 0, 0. 0.4 i'll have a height of 35 percent margin top of 15 percent and then i'll have a width of four order radius of four and let me copy and paste this for the minutes as well and instead of 0.4 I'll give it a 0 0.8 a 45% height and a 5% margin top with a width of 3 pixels and border radius 3 pixels the seconds we will have a different background color here 127, 71, 134, opacity 1 height is going to be 50% there will be no margin and the width is going to be 2 with a border radius of 2. Let's hit save for now. On the mover side we'll position everything absolute. The width is going to be size which is not yet defined but we will define it. Height is going to equal size as well. 
there will be a border radius of size divided by 2, a line items center and we would like to justify it to the flex start. So on this circle both hours, minutes and seconds will start from the top and don't forget to also position those absolute. So absolute, absolute and hit save here and to get rid of this error let's import dimensions from react native and get the width from dimensions get the screen and size in our case is going to be width uh, multiplied with 0.9 so 90 percent of the screen and both are now the the lines are are positioned uh, in, inside the circle and for the quadrants I will do width is going to be the size uh, multiplied to 0 0.8 height and also the border radius size multiplied 0 0.4 background color of RGBA 200 200 200 and 0 0.2 and also position this absolute for the median quadrant but instead of 0 0.8 I'll give it 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 and here I'll give it a different opacity. A small quadrant I'll do with 10, height 10, the radius is going to be 5 and apply the same background color as we have for the seconds here and also position everything absolute. Now that we have the lines and the quadrants, let's apply a different rotation for, for each, uh, for hours, minutes and seconds. Variable const rotate seconds 24 degrees for now, I'll hard code it. Transform seconds object that will have a transform and rotate, rotate seconds. And let's apply the same for minutes and hours. And hit save and apply those to the mover hit save okay so those are rotated let me change the degrees a little those are not aligned properly and that's because we've applied the position absolute uh, to hours minutes and seconds so let me remove that and now everything should start from from the middle of the circle and also the small quadrant should be positioned at the bottom to be on top of all the elements. And now it's taking a shape. To build this uh, clock we will need a dependency which is in our case DayJS. So let me head to terminal and type here yarn add DayJS. Once this is finished import DayJS from DayJS. Also get rid of the status bar. So status bar hidden to true and hit save. Also, let me convert this into a class. I, I've said in the first place that in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a technique which I'm using and I'm, I'm calling it interconnected animations. And this is because we will need uh, two different animated value and I will need an index. So it's a new animated value starting from zero and also import animated here. And the other one is the tick. So another animated value starting from zero. We will also need a timer which is zero and a ticker which is null. You'll find in a minute why we need those. Uh, so in, in component did mount we'll need to do a couple of things. Uh, but first of all let me explain what the index and the tick is doing. Uh, basically we are going to increase the timer number uh, on one on every second and based on this timer we are also going to set the value of the tick and the the animation is going to happen based on this tick but we are going to animate the index so first let me get the uh, current instance of the dgs so const current it's equal to a dgs diff of seconds between the current timestamp and the end of the day so current end of the day and we'll apply the diff of the current timestamp in seconds. And this will give us the total amount of seconds uh, remained from, from the current day. And one day it's equal to 24 hours, 60 minutes and 60 seconds. And we will say the timer now it's equal to 
one day minus the diff. And we will do this state tick set value with the timer. After doing this, we will also need to apply set interval. And for set interval, we will assign it to the ticker, which is null in the first place. So we'll do set interval. Inside, we'll say the timer. It's actually equal to plus equal one. Increase the timer and the state, the tick, it's going to be equal to the timer itself. And in order to start animating the index based on the tick, we need to call a method called this animate. Let me clean up a little. And in this animate, we'll say animated timing, we'll animate the index and we'll pass the two value to equal to this state tick. And we will do a duration of a tick interval divided by two. Tick interval is not yet defined. Uh, we have to define it here. So a tick interval is going to be 1000 uh, milliseconds and we are also going to use a native driver and start the animation and don't forget the set interval to be a uh, tick interval and whenever the component will unmount we also need to clear the interval of the ticker and assign the ticker to null instead of applying a hard-coded uh, version of the grease let me apply an actual animation and the actual value of the index. So I'll need the index from the state and I'll also need a second degrees, which is equal to an animated and we will multiply the index with six. So a clock has 60 uh, ticks and we know that circle have 360 degrees so 360 degrees divided by 60 is equal to 6 so that's why is this number here for the seconds we will apply actual uh, second degrees and we are going to interpolate with an interpolated and the interpolated in our case it's equal to an object which takes the input range and the output range and the input range is going to be between 0 and 360 and the output range is going to be 0 degrees and 360 degrees we will do we don't need a rotate seconds and we'll interpolate the seconds here so interpolated interpolated and this is also going to crash because we need to convert the views into animated views and now the second line seconds line it's animated and let let's apply the same transition to the minutes so rotate minutes is going to be animated we divide the seconds degrees with a new animated value of 60 so interpolate interpolated we know that we would like to move the minutes uh, for each 60 uh, seconds this is the uh, actual formula and we will apply the same for hours and we'll say animated divide rotate minutes by a new animated value and then 12 because 12 hours represent a total turn of the uh, hours line uh, in this uh, circle and we will interpolate these uh, hours as well when when i'm hitting save everything is moving super fast and that's because we are starting from zero and in order to avoid this uh, weird and fast uh, transition we can go ahead here and uh, where we have the timer the difference and set the index a value that it's lower than the actual timer so we will animate closer to the timer itself and we'll say timer minus 30 seconds and only the seconds line is going to animate now for the scale transition that we are uh, doing in the first place we'll need to create the scales it's equal to an array of let me count 
So it's one, two, three, four, five, and six elements. So we will need an animated value for each element on the screen. And six, we'll get the keys and we'll map and return a new animated value, which is starting from zero. So this is creating the arrays of animations. And whenever we are doing the animate, we call scale stagger animations are going to be the state scales. We are going to map to it, take the animated. We will return an animated spring this time and we'll uh, animate the animated. In our case, animated is a new animated value. Pass it to value to one. Uh, tension of 18, uh, friction of three, and we're also going to use the native driver. So this is going to give an elastic uh, bounce to the, to the items. And here, instead of uh, timing, we are also doing animated parallel. So we will animate in parallel to different uh, items, to different animated values, and move the start. I like to stagger the stagger animations with a tick interval, I would say, tick interval divided by the number of animations. So scales length and then the actual stagger animations. Hit save for that. Let me grab the uh, animations from, from, the, uh, from the state here. So scales, I would like to take the small quadrant, scale, uh, the medium quadrant scale, the big quadrant scale, the second scale, minutes scale, and hours scale hit save and for this transform i'll also like to apply a scale of seconds scale or the minutes at the same for the hours it's going to be scale hours scale and let me convert those uh, those elements also into an animated view so for the big quadrants we'll have a transform of scale big quadrant scale this one is going to be the medium small quad so here it's complaining and i reload everything And we have, uh, when, when everything gets mounted, we have this transition of the, of the small, medium and big quadrant and also the lines. And we have the seconds animation and the stagger animation for each element in, on the screen. That was it guys. I hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any comments, uh, please don't hesitate to address one. I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you'd like to support me, you can head to buymeacoffee.com slash Catalin Miron and buy me a coffee there. You can, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, on twitter.com slash Miron uh, If you'd like to be notified whenever I'm posting something new related to React Native or animations in general. You can also ping me directly here. And if you if you have a UI that you'd like to uh, get animated, I'll be more than happy to receive uh, inspiration from you guys. So without further ado, see you in the next video. See ya guys.